In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this Instagram carousel in Adobe Photoshop. Choose the rectangle tool. Draw a square while holding the shift button. You can check how to create these guides from the link in the description. No fill color. Choose a color for the stroke. Adjust the stroke width. Adjust the curve angle. You can adjust it from here or from the properties. Choose the Move tool. Press Ctrl T. Rotate it 45 degrees while holding the Shift button. Now scale it while holding the Shift button. Choose the Tide tool. Write your text. Choose the Move tool. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Shift button. Now let's change its color. To open the Character tool, go to Window and choose Character. Press Ctrl T and rotate it 45 degrees while holding the Shift button. When you finish press Enter. Hold Shift and select these layers. Let's center them horizontally and vertically. Now drag your image to Photoshop. You can download these images from the description below. Scale it while holding the Shift button. When you finish press Enter. Now go to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. Go to adjustment layer and choose gradient map. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Follow these settings. If you want, you can reduce the fill to show some colors. Now choose the Quick Selection tool. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Change the Blending Mode to Color. We can adjust this by using the pen tool. The quick selection here didn't do a good job, so I will create a new selection by using the pen tool. Now right click and choose make selection. Right click and choose create clipping mask. Let's delete the old mask and add a new one from our new selection. Right click here and choose this square and let's duplicate it. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the shift button. Choose the path selection and let's change the color of this square. Drag this layer to the back. Reduce the fill. Hold shift and select these three layers. Hold ALT and start dragging to the right to make a copy. Choose the Type tool and edit the text. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the SHIFT button. Pick this layer. 
choose the path selection and let's change the color of this square. Choose the text layer and let's change the color to white. Choose the move tool. Choose the path selection and let's change the color of this square. I don't like these colors. Let's fix it. Choose the move tool. Go to adjustment layer and choose inner shadow. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Let's try to make this carousel on a dark background. I think it will look much better. Let's adjust the colors accordingly. Right click and select these two layers while holding the shift button. Hold alt and start dragging to the right to make a copy. Choose the path selection and let's change the color of this square. Go to adjustment layer and choose drop shadow. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Choose the type tool and edit the text. Choose the move tool. Right click and choose this rectangle layer. Hold alt and drag to make a copy. Adjust its position. Let me fix the copyright color to white. Now drag your image to Photoshop. You can download these images from the description below. Let's put this layer on top. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the shift button. When you finish press enter. Now go to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. I will use the pen tool to fix this part. Right click and choose make selection. Click on the mask. Make sure the foreground color is white and press delete. Click anywhere to deselect. Let's put the copyright folder on top of the layers. Go to adjustment layer and choose gradient map. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Follow these settings. Choose the pen tool. Right click and choose make selection. Go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Right click and choose create clipping mask. Change the blending mode to color. 
Select these three layers and link them. Choose the Move tool. Adjust its position. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Drop Shadow. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Before we continue, let's save the file by pressing Ctrl S. Right click and select these three layer while holding the shift button. Hold alt and start dragging to the right to make a copy. Click on the mask of the gray square and delete it. Choose the type tool and edit the text. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the shift button. Choose the Move tool. Right-click and choose this square. Choose the Path selection and let's change the color of this square. Choose the Move tool. Right-click and choose this square layer. Right-click and choose Copy Layer Style. Right-click and choose this square layer. Right-click and choose Paste Layer Style. Choose the Type tool and let's change its color. Now I'm gonna do the same thing as we did before, I'm going to fast forward this part. Keep on watching. I upload every week all my Photoshop and Illustrator files to my Patreon page. Subscribe for only $3 per month and get all my files from all my YouTube tutorials. Link in the description. Now choose the Marquee Selection tool and select these last two slides that we don't need. Right click and choose Select Inverse. Go to Image and choose Crop. Click anywhere to deselect. 
I have already cropped this carousel into slides. Check the crop tutorial in the description. Now go to File, Export, choose Save for Web. Follow these settings. When you finish press save. I like to rename the slides using numbers. That's it, hope you liked it. Hit the like button to support my channel.